since its premiere on Netflix in 2016, The Crown has given fans a fictional yet fascinating look into the world of the British royal family. But it's also left us all wondering the same thing. Did the late Queen and the rest of the royal family watch the popular show? While we doubt they obsess over it as much as we do there is a chance one or two of them have added the award-winning series to their Netflix queue. And now that the new episodes of The Crown are just around the corner, we're more intrigued than ever about which royals have tuned in. Ahead of the sixth and final series, which will air in two parts across November and December, find out more about what the royals have said about the show over the years. The Queen. Would you be able to resist watching a fictionalized version of your life? According to Vanessa Kirby, who played Princess Margaret in seasons one and two, she has it on good authority that the late Queen had indeed tuned in. Chatting to Harper's Bazaar, she previously said, A friend of mine was at a party and didn't know anyone, so he sidled up to this group who were talking about the crown. One girl said, Well, my granny watches it and really likes it. It slowly dawned on him that the girl was Eugenie and her granny was the queen. Jason Watkins, who played Prime Minister Harold Wilson in season 3, also told Hello. That he suspected the monarch watched it before her death in 2022. He said at the time, she must watch it. But I am sure she knows it's a drama and although it's based on real events, it's a dramatic interpretation. But it's an affectionate portrayal, so I hope she enjoys it. According to actor Matt Smith, the late Queen used to watch episodes of The Crown via a projector on Sunday nights. Speaking to NBC's Today Show in 2021, he said, I heard the Queen had watched it, and she used to watch it on a projector on a Sunday night apparently. I know that Philip definitely didn't. Prince Philip. Matt Smith played Prince Philip in the first two series, and revealed to The Guardian that a friend of his asked the prince about the royal drama. According to The Star, the friend was at a dinner at Buckingham Palace when he couldn't resist asking the late royal about the show. According to Matt, his friend, a man of prominence in the film world sat next to the late Duke for the dinner, and the prince asked him, What do you do? Are you involved in this crown thing? After he confirmed that he wasn't involved in the series, he asked Prince Philip, Philip, I am just wondering, because I have some friends who made the crown, have you watched any? To which the royal replied, Don't be ridiculous. Matt added. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but I just think he's a bit of a cool cat. Prince William. Olivia Coleman, who played the Queen in seasons 3 and 4 of the Netflix show, admitted that she couldn't resist asking Prince William if he had seen it when she met him. Chatting on The Graham Norton Show in 2021, she said, I met Prince William at a dinner and he asked what I was doing at the moment before he quickly added, actually, I know what you're doing. I was so excited and asked, have you watched it? His answer was a firm, number. But he was very charming and very lovely. Prince Harry. 
Prince Harry finally broke his silence over whether he watches The Crown during his appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden in February 2021. While he didn't say how much he had watched, it seems like the Duke was pretty familiar with the show from his comments. It's fictional, but it's loosely based on the truth, he said. Of course, it's not strictly accurate, but loosely. It gives you a rough idea about that lifestyle and what the pressures of putting duty and service above family and everything else, what can come from that. I am way more comfortable with the crown than I am seeing the stories written about my family, or my wife, or myself. He even provided producers with a casting idea if the show does eventually tell the story of himself and Meghan stepping back from royal life, get Damien Lewis to play him. King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla. Camilla's cousin, Ben Elliott, revealed that she enjoys watching the program, so chances are that the king joined her on occasion. According to Vanity Fair, he said she was a fan of the show but added that she wasn't looking forward to the bits to come. Her character was introduced in season 3, played by Emerald Fennell, as Prince Charles' first girlfriend, who eventually marries Andrew Parker Bowles after the royal family intervenes. In an interesting turn of events, in 2022, Camilla met the star who played her on-screen persona. Emerald spoke about their interaction, but remained tight-lipped. I was nervous I might be thrown in the tower but so far so good, the actress and Oscar winner told PA at the time. She's been in the spotlight for a long time and has always weathered it with a lot of grace and good humor. I am going to be very discreet, because if I've learned anything it's loose lips sink ships.